I'm going to show you how to make a print onto fabric using the freezer paper method. Okay. So here I have my final design idea for my stencil. Um, I need to make sure that there are no holes in it so everything is connected so when I get my knife and cut it out it is still going to be there okay so for instance this piece of the R if I cut the circle the little gap out in the R it's going to fall out and disappear so what I need to do is make sure that it connects to the background so I'm just going to simply draw a little connecting line there okay then when I have my final design first of all I'll do it in pencil then I'll get a fine line of pen and just go around the edges to make sure that it's all perfect and how I want it then I'm going to get a piece of A4 freezer paper so the freezer paper is shiny on one side and then just matte on the other so I'm going to draw on the matte side of the freezer paper. So I'm going to place it directly above my design. And as you can see, it's see-through, so it's transparent, so I can see my design. And I'm going to make sure I hold it in place, and then I will grab a fine liner pen, ideally, and I'm going to draw around my design. I'm going to trace it. Okay? Then, when I've done that, I will end up with something that looks like this. Okay, so this is my design on the freezer paper, all ready to be cut out. So what I need for this step is I need a cutting mat, I need my freezer paper design, and I need a very sharp new craft line. Okay? Then I'm going to take my time, I'm just going to do one little bit at a time. I really need to make sure that I don't cut any bits that I don't want to cut. Okay, so take my time, one line at a time. If I'm unsure, if I think I'm going to go wrong, just take, just lift it up, just take it off because you don't want to make a mistake. You can't stick it back together if you cut the wrong bit. Okay. So when I've taken my time and I've cut out the design, I will have this. Okay, so this is my cut out freezer paper design. As you can see, I had feathers and the lines of the feathers are still connected to the background of the freezer paper. My little dot inside the R is still connected. So here I have a pile of fabric here, so I'm ready to go for applying my freezer paper transfer. So this is instead of an ironing board, okay? Just so I don't burn and melt the table. So I've got a nice little pile here. And then this is my piece of fabric that I'm gonna apply my design onto. See, it's quite creased, so I'm gonna take my iron and just iron out the creases. So I've got a nice surface to print on. Because if I have loads of creases, then that means that the ink might seep underneath my stencil and make a bit of a mess when I'm trying to print. So, here is my design. I'm going to place it on to wherever I want the design to be, so I'm just going for the centre. But if you're doing it on a t-shirt or something, then make sure it's in the centre of your t-shirt. Right, so shiny side of the paper onto the fabric. I'm going to get my iron and I'm going to very carefully iron the paper off, making sure that every little bit is in the right place. So first of all you can start by pressing it and then you can 
run the iron over. Okay? And what this does is it makes the freezer paper stick to the fabric so it doesn't move when you're printing. So now I have some black fabric paint and a sponge. I'm using black because my fabric is pink, so if I was to use red fabric paint, I probably wouldn't see the design, so I'm going for black. White would probably work as well. It's going to get a bit on here. Luckily, that did not go onto my design, so when you do it, make sure you do it away from your t-shirt. And then I'm going to dab it on, on to the holes. 